So what I do this time, Chelsea? Huh? You afraid that I went to go see Sharon because I didn't? You don't have to see her to be thinking about yeah, her, Adam. Interestingly enough, the only person that I'm thinking of right now is you. Stop it! I don't buy any of this anymore. I don't! She is a friend. You don't have any friends. Wow. Wow. It's not who you are. So for you to be this interested you know in Sharon I can't win everything with you. that she does... It is lose-lose for me no matter what I do. You realize that? I can be with Sharon, and I'm unfaithful. I can be away from Sharon, and I'm unfaithful. Chelsea, baby, you got to help me out here. I don't know what to do. Tell me what I have to say or do that gets you to believe the words that are coming out of my mouth. Never see Sharon again. A bit extreme, don't you think? For a husband to promise to stay away from his ex? No. Extreme is hiring an arsonist to start a couple of fires to cover for the fact that Sharon burned down your father's house! That's extreme! You know Who what? goes to those lanes Just for stop a friend, for a Adam? Stop for a second and think about this. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to stand idly by and just let Sharon rot away in prison or a psych ward the rest of her life? You tell me, Chelsea. What would you do in a situation like this? You, Wouldn't you help somebody since else? Since when did you become such a humanitarian, Since Adam? I married you, I have become a better man. I am proud of myself, and I am sick and tired of this town telling me my mother would be disappointed in me because what I am doing now, my mother would be very proud of. Really? Cheating on your wife would make I haven't proud? cheated yes, on you! you have, in your head and in your heart, and that is almost worse. Chelsea, I am fighting, fighting for you. But if you can't look at this thing rationally, then we have no hope. Where are you going? To her. Just what I need. A ghost of Newman past. Why don't you go haunt someone else, Dad? I can do that. But then you would miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Place looks pretty sterile, don't you think? I'll be sure and tell Jack that when he gets back. So, how have things been in his absence? Market is steady. Staff is happy and productive. I meant for you. Are you getting out of it what you want? Three squares and a roof over my head. So, if it is the work you enjoy and a lot of avenues open to you, other than this? So, you think I'm trying to prove myself to you? Is that it? That's what you want me to say? That I took this job to impress you? I'll give you a chance to do that. A prescription. For painkillers, Jack is on. You use that document, and you take Newman Enterprises away from him. Desperate pops. When you say that, Prince Nicholas and Princess Victoria have abdicated. The naked heiress rode off into the sunset on her horse, which leaves me to do your dirty work. Obviously, you haven't learned to accept a gift graciously, have you? This is a gift, huh? For me? 
No. For you. You don't care which Newman sits in this seat here, even if it is me. Just as long as it's not Jack Abbott, right? I can always take the document back. What would make you think that I want to unseat Jack? I might be perfectly happy being number two around here. Have a nice day. So I missed the meeting at the Conspirators Club. What was on the agenda? My father and I were plotting to kidnap Santa Claus, take over the North Pole, capitalize on all that cheap elf labor. Where does Jack fit in? <clears throat> He'll be right here at Newman Enterprises. Now, if you'll excuse me, Phyllis, I have real legitimate work to get to. For a sociopath, you're a bad liar. Yes? I know you're really busy, but it's important that I see you, and I, I wouldn't ask otherwise. I'll make it happen. You done eavesdropping? You know, why don't you channel all this extra energy of yours into your work instead of running around acting all suspicious? You got that? Oh, yeah. Trust me. I got that. I just had an emergency session with Dr. Watkins. What was the emergency? You. What did I do? I can't keep asking you to just drop everything and come over here, so... I'm taking you off my speed dial. If you think that's going to be best for your recovery, I mean, we can set up some kind of schedule where we talk once a week no, or something. No, 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 you, you don't understand. I'm, I'm talking about cutting things off completely. Sharon, I thought I was helping you. You are. You, you are. Adam, you, you have a life. You, you have a home and a wife who loves you and, and who deserves to have all of you. Just rethink this, okay? It doesn't make any sense. Adam, I, this is coming out of please, nowhere. Sharon, look, please, I, I cannot afford to lose you. I could give up anything else. I'd be fine giving up my job, my money. No, don't. Just as don't say that. Sharon. You don't mean that. Adam, I... Listen, I... I, I don't deserve it. Not, not the woman that I am now. And I'm never going to be the woman that I want to be. Not at someone else's expense. So, listen... I need you to go to Chelsea and devote all of your energy to making a wonderful life for the two of you. Just take another honeymoon and work on having a family. Be happy. And you? Will you be happy? Someday.
Hey. I didn't make dinner, so if you're hungry... I'm not. Sharon cook for you? No, Chelsea, she didn't. Sorry I ever put you in that position. Sure. It's over. Sharon knows she's on her own now. I am so tired of fighting with you. I will earn your trust back. Just have to give me time. Things will get better. I promise.